Ah, greetings, dear viewers. My name is Thomas, and tonight I present to you a story written, acted, filmed, and produced by the Allotment family to celebrate this most spooktacular time of year, Halloween. You might be asking yourself, what exactly do allotments and Halloween have in common? Not a lot, save perhaps for the growing of pumpkins or apples to smother in sticky toffee. What would happen if these two seemingly contrasting themes collided? Tonight, my dear friends, we find out in the legend of the Dogman of Bibbyshire Allotments. There are more than 300,000 allotments across the UK. On their plots, local people of all ages and backgrounds can tend to a piece of land and use it to grow their own food. Allotments are often described as peaceful places by those that tend them, and a calming escape from the stresses of modern life. But what happens when that peace is shattered? At these small pockets of tranquility, and even the police refuse to deal with the problems at the allotment site? Could this be the work of a criminal mastermind, far outside the long arm of the law? Or something far more sinister? Perhaps even supernatural in nature? Today, we investigate the legend of the Dogman of Bibbishire Allotments. I'm Jarvis Small, skeptic, paranormal investigator, and I'm here in the wonderful village of Bibbishire in the United Kingdom. Since its founding nearly 200 years ago, Bibbishire has been described as a gardener's paradise by many of the tenants in allotments just like this. However, in recent times, many people have reported paranormal sightings, occurrences, and strange behaviours going on. I'm here to investigate the legend of the Dogman of Bibbishire. Although there are a handful of tenants at this allotment that doubt the existence of the Dogman, there are a number here that do believe in the legend. And as you'll see later on in this documentary, there is some compelling evidence to back up this claim as well. Hello, my name is David Lounge and I've, I've had my allotment for 15 years now. Uh, do I believe in a dog man? Yes, I do. And I'm terrified, terrified. I don't want my face to be shown in case he knows who I am and he comes and finds me. In fact, I'm scared for my life every day I am up here. Um, and you know what? I don't actually think I want to be part of this documentary. Thank you. No. I'm Mrs. Beatrice W. Hartgreaves and I've had my allotment for 21 years. I think these legends are poppycock. It's the work of teenage pranksters and they can do with a stint in the army to whip them into shape. My name's Mr. Clegg and I've been at the allotments tending it with my sister for 20 years now. She's not my wife, she's my sister. He's not my husband, he's my brother. Do I believe in the legend of the dark man? Well, I do. I've lost over 60 chickens in the last 20 years. It's a foul beast. I've seen it with my own eyes. It had the legs of a cow, tail of a giraffe, the nose of a wolf, the ears of a pygmy goat, and the big great arms of an elephant. Foul beast he is. Foul beast. Foul creature. It's not the blimmin' dog man that's getting those chickens. He gets his drink as a tipple, leaves the door open, staggers off, fox gets in, kills the chickens. So we've had our allotment about 
two years? Yeah, like a year and a bit. year and a bit. year and most of a year. Are we yeah. first time growers? We haven't exactly got much help from our neighbours. They don't really talk to us. No, they talk to each other for sure. Yeah, but, but not, not to us. Not to us so much. I think it's because we're new though. We have heard some weird stuff going on up here. I was in the polytunnel watering the tomatoes and I swear there was something um, big moving in the bushes outside the polytunnel and I'm sure it was watching me. But we, we have like trail cams and stuff now. Yeah. Because well. if it is like some mysterious big creature like we've, we've heard rumors <laughs> of, yeah. then we'd definitely be able to catch it. And then like it would go so viral on like TikTok or Instagram mm -hmm. or something. If anything happens again, we'll be able to capture it yeah, on, we're, on we're the trail cams. We're gonna catch cams. it, we'll go so, viral. Yeah. <laughs> Make some money. <laughs> Hopefully. Uh, you guys you guys should totally take a trail cam. Yeah. We've got spares. Yeah, yeah. If we've you, if we've you want. got a bunch around the place, so if there's anything useful yeah, on that. You would you would I mean you can put it up around, you would totally hopefully catch something, maybe. Mm -hmm. but, yeah. yeah. It beats beats the big net that we set up. <laughs> so. To immerse myself in the lore of the dog man, and indeed the local area, I've sought the aid of Professor Paul Gordon a local historian whose family has lived here in the village of Bibbershire for nine generations. Perhaps by revealing more about the area and its history, I could begin to shed some light on the strange occurrences that have occurred in the allotments, and even begin to unravel the mystery of the dogman itself. I am Professor Paul Gordon, and I was born and bred in Bibbershire, as my family has been residents here for nine generations. Bibbershire currently has a population of about 525 people. Always be the farming community, good sorts, salts of the earth. Recently, we have had an influx of out of towners, young folk moving from the city, taking advantage of old derelict buildings and doing them up. This has caused some consternation amongst the older residents in the village. Bibichar gained its name from a woman chieftain, Bibi Dumas who founded the, uh, the settlement in 40 AD. Very unusual for a woman of that time to rise to such prominence and power. The Romans claimed the county in 55 AD, but failed, failed to make inroads into Bibbishire itself. And it was left relatively alone until 200 AD, when the Romans finally took the area. Some evidence suggests the Roman army refused to march on the area in the preceding years due to a failed first attempt, a disastrous failed first attempt, attributed to some ungodly happenings. Baby Donimus was apparently renowned for her abilities to tame wild animals, and she reportedly used this in the defense of the area. Eventually, the Romans did take the area, roughly 200 AD, but instances of animal attacks are reportedly still continuing as, as late as the 17th century, which is, which is a little strange because the last wild wolves in Britain reportedly disappeared in the 15th century. This allotment site was founded 200 years ago and I, I recall tales of my grandfather telling me that they, they, him and his, his friends found a strange bronze chest buried on the site that contained wolf remains. What happened to this chest? No one really knows now. It's simply disappeared. Do I believe in the dog man of Bibishire? I remain a skeptic, but one must consider the evidence. Has the sudden influx and discontent within the village surfaced a, a supernatural entity that is feeding off negative energy? Um, is that okay? Is that all right? Yes, yes, yes. Well, I'll, I'll take my leave now. Mrs. Fotheringay has no doubt a cup, cup of tea waiting for me. My housekeeper, would you know? Um, I would just add, good sir, it, uh, um, I would stay clear of the allotments if I were you. There has been, what should we say, instances. 
After speaking to Professor Gordon, I was beginning to craft my own theories about the legend of the Dogman. With the rise of newcomers to the village, and indeed the allotment site, could the stories have been created to ward off outsiders from a community that is afraid of expansion and change? But that wasn't an explanation for the many strange sightings that have occurred at the allotments, nor did it account for some of the compelling evidence that was acquired by an allotment tenant named Nancy Twerk. You can clearly see that this is a large footprint, wolf-like. I found it yesterday. So I believe the legends are true about this dog creature. But in fact, it's a nature spirit and its energy is everywhere. Have you ever actually seen this dog man with your own eyes? Well, no, but the evidence is here and I can feel its energy. And I believe it's going to be strongest at 3 a.m. But how do you know that somebody hasn't necessarily just dug this with a trowel to make it look like this? Or, well, how, how do I know you've not just done this to stage all this? I don't think I like your negative energy. I think you should leave. Well, well I'm, I mean, I'm just... I'm just asking the real questions here. This is what I'm here to I do. I think you should leave. You should leave. Uh, uh, okay. Uh, cut. Local vloggers known as the Allotment Friends Diary have kindly agreed to let me spend the night at their allotment plot after a chance meeting today. And according to Nancy Twerk, this is where the most recent sighting of the dog man occurred. After being rudely shooed away from her plot and seeing the somewhat questionable evidence discovered by Nancy herself, I was compelled to glean a sighting of the dog man myself and perhaps prove or disprove its existence once and for all. Armed with a warm blanket and a flask of hot chocolate, I settled down quietly, hoping to catch a glimpse of the elusive creature for myself. Well, it's, um, it's about 1am at the moment. I'm not sure if you can hear, there's a, there's a small owl out and about somewhere up there in the trees. Um, I've heard a couple of foxes as well, so hopefully everyone's chickens are nice and safe. Still no sign of the dog man just yet. We'll stay out here, maybe we'll check in another hour or so, but for now it's um, getting nice and chilly, so I think it's time for another hot chocolate. Oh, nice and warm, look at the steam on that, lovely. Well, oh, we'll check in another hour or so and we'll see if there's any sign of the dog man. <sighs> 2 a.m. Here we are, or about 2 a.m. Again, still no sign of the dog man. I'm all out of hot chocolate, so I've only got my little blanket to keep me warm. There's definitely something lurking about, but it's definitely a little cat. Maybe it's the one we saw earlier. I'm determined to stay awake until 3 a.m., which I think is when that lady said is apparently the time that Mr. Dogman hangs about. So I'm just gonna, just gonna sit here. <sighs> 3 a.m. is here. Um, it's the witching hour when old Nancy says that the Dogman will be roaming about it's definitely colder. Apparently this is the time we're gonna see it or when it roams about the allotment. So I guess we'll wait and see. No sign yet. <sighs> Half three, um, we're doing another quick little update. I've another, got... again. Yes, yes, Stephen, we're doing, I'll... Jarvis, oh. it, Jarvis, it's like half three in the morning. They, you, this whole thing was BS. We knew it from the start. That even that paw print that she she dug it out of a trowel. I saw the trowel Stephen, on the way out. Stephen, let, let's just get through this. And in the morning, it'll it'll be fine. Jarvis, look, I'm I'm done. You're not even paying paying me for this. I've got to film a wedding in Tibet at nine a.m. tomorrow. Stephen, I'm not even being paid until this gets released. Nah, Jarvis, I'm done. Look, Stephen, you, Stephen, you, hang you, on. You can deal with this. I'm going. Okay, Stephen, I'm done, Jarvis. Stephen, come back. Steve. <sighs> okay. 
All right. Okay. All right. Let's, uh, I can work this on my own. So, um, Stephen, Stephen has left, left me here. Um, but I'm determined to stay. Um, as you've gathered, there's no dog man just yet. Um, it's about... Oh, I think I can hear the little cat over there. Should we see if we can find him? Where is he? Where's that little cat? Where are you? Where are you? Over by the bins? Oh my god! What was that? What was that? I'm gonna see... Okay. Hang on, I'm gonna see if it's there still. Hang on. Where is it? Oh my god! I've, um... Been on the floor for a couple minutes now. I have no idea what that was, um, but this this is this is this is too much now. I need to leave. I don't. Um... Okay, there's nothing there. I I I need to leave. I need to pack up and go. Steve, Stephen was right. This was this was this was done. We need. I I need to leave. I need to leave. I need to leave now. So I'm um, on my way out of the allotment now. I'm um, I've nearly reached the border. I uh, I I can't do this. I just need to I just need to leave. What was that? What the hell was that? Oh my god! It's followed me. Oh my god! I screw this. I'm out. I'm gone. No, no way. I'm gone. Absolutely not. Oh my god! I'm running, running. Oh my god, I hope it's not following me. God, my microphone's still on. My microphone's still on, oh my god. Oh. 